Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. Love in your eyes! <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been it? a while. But yes, we're back with an Ibaneth review um, of this, what I think is probably the best new range of Ibanez guitars to, to uh, enter their catalogue in years. And also maybe the most challenging. Possibly the most challenging. For me challenging, at least. <laughs> uh, because I kind of think that when you want to buy, the reason you buy a Super Strat guitar is because you want something that plays faster, sounds dirtier, looks meaner than a regular Fender Strat. Yeah. And that's what you want. You don't necessarily want something with a super flame top, funny colour. Uh, don't really know what it's trying to be. You want a dirty workhorse rock machine. Yes. And you don't want to pay like silly money for it. You want a good value guitar as well. That's what you want. An iron label. The new range from Ivan is Iron Label. It's a weird name, that one. I wonder if it sounds really cool in Japanese or something, but sort of in English, it's kind of Iron Label. What's that? But anyway. It sounds like a beer, which gets me it excited. It does, doesn't yeah, it? it? sounds like a Could beer. Be. So, Iron Label is a super cool new range of stripped back, uh, none more black guitars well, available. A bit, of, bit of white. Well, it's a, okay, almost and none white more black. Binding there. Thanks. Nearly. If you turn black, it over. Half black. The neck is uh, like a, a sort of unfinished maple. Color. So, a range of guitars where black doesn't feature terribly heavily in the whole kind of makeup, uh, available either in an RG body shape or an S series body shape, and in three different string sets. Yes, because why have six when you can have seven, and why have seven when you can have eight? That's the the, the that's immortal question that's plagued mankind <laughs> for many many years. Um, first time I've ever played an 8-string, Yes. and an interesting thing occurred, if I didn't think about what I was doing, mm -hmm. I could play it, C kind of fine, you know, <laughs> but the second my mind engaged and went, eh, what are you doing, Jeff? It's on it, oh no! <laughs> and it all went to complete uh, bad things. <laughs> Playing the eight. I mean, it is a hefty beast. A hefty of a neck. beast. It so really is. Flip that bad boy around, and we'll start going flip through some of the features. So, all the necks <laughs> on the Iron Label guitars are made of a combination of maple and bobinga. So the brown stripes on the back are bobinga, and that gives the neck uh, super strength and allows Ibanez to use the skinny wizard kind of thickness. So you know, for, for super speed, yeah. uh, without. Uh, worrying about the neck and bowing badly. You all need the time. that thickness because I'll do your close up now, but basically, you've got a bass string on the low end of this bad boy here. It's, it's so amazing the way this goes down and That's this opens clever, up. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So you've basically, now the eight string, we'll do this back to front, we'll start with the eight string. The eight string is only available as a hard tail version. So let's, yeah, we'll do some nice sweeps so that you can see this now. So, well it's got, it's got simple features. It's got one knob that turns it on or turns it off. Yeah. It's got a kill switch. We'll talk about the kill we'll switch in a minute. We'll talk about that. Yeah, it's got a three way. <laughs> and it's got, <laughs> it's got a hard tail. Nice functional it's a, simple. It's an Ivan is kind of own brand, yeah. uh, but high mass, great sounding hardtail. No fret markers other than on the side of the neck. How, many, need how many frets you got? 24? 24. Yeah, 24. 24. Um, and EMGs. Yes, the is Big, it 808. Fat EMGs, 808. Uh, flip it over again, let's have a look at the back. So we've got the belly Which cut. That's bolt on, belly cut for fat people like yeah. me. You Easy know. access battery compartment. Um, Millennium Falcon escape hatch. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> and um, so that, yeah, the eight string only available in uh, a hard tail, yeah. which I suspect you'll have heard now or perhaps before. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, I'm not Tosin Abassi, nor am I Keith Mara, Ola England, or Fred Brum. I can't play any of that kind of stuff. I'm a blues rock player. But what interested me was that when I picked up the eight string, I had that fear of, oh God, I've got a demonstrated guitar that I'm really gonna find it very difficult to play. And it wasn't difficult to play. And although the neck is the biggest neck I've ever experienced in my life, I mean, it's like a tree trunk, for some reason, it was quite tasty for the blues. Because mm. I'm really a blues guy. And it just has some kind of nice thing about it. It's skinny, skinny. That's really skinny, depth yeah. play, isn't it? Yeah. But obviously very wide. Yes. Um, Tall in stature, short in whatever. <laughs> and it, yeah, it felt nice. Except, what do we call that? A choke. <laughs> Where the neck is a certain dimension relative to. <laughs> But, uh, but anyway, no, I found it easy, and like I said, if you don't engage your brain, just go with your intuitive flu, flow, intuitive flow, it feels great to play, and you kind of work things out. To start with a blues scale, like I did, just work out where your, your pentatonic position one is, get a, a base zero area to work from, and it all fell into place, and I felt nice about it. I think what I really also like about this, in addition to Ibanez kind of stripping it back and going, just gonna give the guys what they want, they've priced this as well so that it's highly affordable. So the eight string is $5.99. Um, so it's not, it, it sits below the Ibanez Premium Series, although the way I've been playing this, the build quality appears to be you know right up there. Um, but price-wise, very affordable. So we're liking this. One floor. One floor across all four models. Across think. all four models is that the kill switch, it latches. So you have to turn it off and then turn it on to actually get that kind of kill. Mm. If you want to use it as a musical effect, this is really a turn it off if you haven't got a tune on the floor from Boss or whatever. <laughs> but basically, if you want to use it musically, it needs to be a non-latching yep. button or a non-latching lever. lever. But what we are, take note. we're reliably informed. If you, is uh, taking note behind the camera. If you go to one of those kind of guitar parts, all parts. catalogues, yeah, all parts is good if you're in the UK. I'm sure there are other ones in the world. Stuart McDonald's in America yeah, is Stuart. very good. Um, you could replace this with a momentary switch. So essentially, it only switches off as you're holding it in the position, and, and then I think it would be easier to uh, to use. <laughs> Anyway, that's enough about the eight string. Let's try the seven string. Playing occurs. <laughs> Awesome to play, you know, did the job. Everything works. The, the trem was nice and responsive, and it's not um, not a Floyd, is it? No, it's just an Ibanez kind of own brand uh, version of the Floyd. Uh, got EMG seven string pickups here. Uh, what else we got that's cool on this? Still got the kill switch. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my
go to the seven string, you get a choice of either a fixed uh, hard-tailed guitar or the one with the trem on it. Yeah, it hasn't what, got the fancy pantsy wheel on the back, Wheel of Fortune. No, but so it's, still, it's like a more a regular styled trem that you'd have to set if up. If you want over the rainbow type tonage, oh yeah, you can do that. This does the job for you. you know? Now. Um, what I did also like about this was normally, if you have a Floyd style trem and you want to do a bit of drop tuning, it throws all the other strings out of tune. But but Rob did actually manage yeah. to, I mean, I, I suspect you wouldn't be able to go too crazy with that before it started to need resetting up, but you successfully went from E to D. Yeah, I unclamped it and just thought I'll drop tune it because yeah. a lot of people do that anyway. Didn't need to be redone, did it? was completely did it? fine. <laughs> But yeah, but if a Floyd is not your bag, you know, if you want to do some heavy, heavy drop tuning and you like to sit, you know, palm mute and stuff like that, yeah. then take the uh, hardtail version of this. It's a little bit cheaper as well, the hardtail, so you get some uh, value there. I know it's completely pointless uh, and it's just an aesthetic thing, but I've always liked, well, it's not pointless, but I've always liked the... Elf the, door. Uh, yeah, the Elf door. So the truss rod cover, uh, you use a handy implement like a plectrum and you just pop it to the side like this and there's your truss rod. So it's no great unscrewing design. anything and losing screws. And then when you've adjusted it and you've finished, you can just pop it back in and there you go. Nice and neat. That's very clever. Uh, that's on all three of the models. So where are they made? Uh, they are made in uh, Indonesia, which uh, actually more and more guitars now, if you look on the back of the headstock and find out where they're made, are coming out of there. And I must admit, kind of a growing reputation actually for, mm. for being a, a sort of a really great place in the Far East to make guitars. Mm. And um, great food as well. Yes, absolutely. You have to go to Indonesia. Never been there, but I've heard that a lot. From... Let, let me have a look at the back of the neck on that guitar. Hua! There you go, you've got that lovely kind of maple babinga sandwich. Um, nom nom nom! <laughs> which looks cool. Uh, and finalement, uh, dans la range is the six I didn't. I forgot what the word range was in French. Oh. But... So the six string. Uh, actually is basically the same kind of uh, idea as the seven string. Felt really weird going to that from the eight. Did it? Really strange. Because it is probably half the width, isn't it? Let's, why don't we work that out? Why don't we work it out? We've got a tape measure in this room. I'll just do it with my finger. Look, do it with your finger. If I put my finger on here, it comes to a Wait, 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 Pablo's got a tape measure. Pablo's got a tape measure. We're all going technical Pablo's here. Pablo's got a tape measure. <laughs> You're very kind, thanks, Pabs. Okay, so right, at the 12th um, fret, 12th at the 12th fret. fret, you don't want to do it, I'll do it the first as well. Okay. So that's where you, so at the first fret, uh, my uh, European friends. Guarantee no one else will ever do this, This ever. is, at the first fret, this is 43 millimeters wide, which in inches for our American friends, is uh, one and three quarters, roughly. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> so how many millimeters is that <laughs> I then, can't Rob? Read it. So it's uh, it's 50, 50, 60, 60 mil. Yeah, it's literally bang on sixty mil at the front. So sixty mil. So that's fifty so percent bigger, two, isn't it? Two and a half, or not quite two and a half inches, but down at the deuxième, deuxième, twelve. It's three inches. Three inches. Seven and a half centimetres. Seven and a half? <laughs> Does that really, is that really a word? <laughs> it's it's a not a word, is it? Is it really? Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> and on this guitar, it is um, Two. It is a slightly more so modest... I got an uh, inch on Captain. 52 But mil. there's nothing new there. <laughs> or... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on my belly, that's what I'm talking about. I, of course I knew yeah. that, on your hair. Yeah. Um, Do you know what I thought was really, really cool? What? Was that time when you played the eight string. I don't think I've ever played the eight string, is it? But now you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have, let me just quickly do the pricing recap because it's okay, one of the coolest, that. coolest features. So, if you want the hardtail version of the six string, uh, you're in for £449. Price in your eyes! And uh, and then the guitars go up sort of incrementally until you get to the dearest one in the range, which is the eight string hardtail, which is £599. So, um, they're incredibly good value, all EMG loaded, uh, fantastically well made, 
Well done, Ibanez. And these are actually in the shops already. Uh, so you can come down to Anderton's or dive on our website and check these out in a bit more detail. <laughs> So we'll cut now to blues play at blues play. Captain playing some blues on the eight. And uh, it's been a very enjoyable review. It has been a good review. So thank you very much again to Ibanez. About time we did some new Ibanez stuff. Yes. And uh, thanks again for the uh, little Tony Iommi Laney amplifier here, which is awesomely cool. I've, I've been, been the Rob captain. <laughs> no, I've been the captain. I've been Rob Chapman. No, I've been the captain. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.